far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, for and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. Two. Digging in will be Derek Jeter, and with numbers like those, he's putting himself in contention for some Rookie of the Year hardware if he can keep it up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch, 7 11. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 oh 2. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. In there, the base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. The mark of a great pitcher is the ability to put people away when you have two strikes on them. He wasn't able to do it to start the game. Let's see if he makes the adjustment. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. Runners back. And another throw over. Runner back safely. Standing in now, Bernie Williams. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1 0 home. Hit back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly. Step on the back for one. On to first, and they get them both. With the that, here's a look at the Yankees' Number starting 11. lineup. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? You know, they better not sleep on that guy sitting in the seven hole. This guy's hitting over 450 his last 10 games. He's the guy I'm watching, but not only in this game. I watched him in batting practice, too, and he was hammering the ball. When you get on a kind of a roll like he is right now, his confidence is soaring, and right now he's seeing the ball great. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Crawford has it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. It's the Yankees nothing. Mariners coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Dwight Gooden will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, in this day and age where we're used to seeing a lot of home runs and pitchers not going very deep in a game, how about this guy? ERA in the low ones. That's not an easy thing to do. He can strike people out, but he can also get them out via the ground ball, the fly ball. Judging by his stats this year, he is having a ridiculously good season up to this point. Now with the plate is Dylan Moore. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to that get the home second. crowd into it right That's out of the gates. Stop. And that will bring in J.P. Crawford. Crawford. The check in with an average still south of 230. Five homers, 18 driven in. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Toward second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Batting third. The and now a field. quick look at the Mariners Fly starting ball. lineup in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matty, they need Kyle Seeger to get back on track. He had only five RBIs the entire last month. Listen, he's a better player than that. And this could be the day he turns it around and is able to be that guy that this lineup relies on. A ball and a strike. Hoo that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. 
just behind the fastball there two strikes now go to that well one more time he's been late on the first two here comes the one two popped into the air back behind second number 11 is under it two gone batting for the third baseman Kyle Seeger. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He was one for four in Sunday's affair. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Seeger behind with an 0 and 2 count. A hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Stays alive, still 0 2. All right, back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. We'll head to the top of the second. It's 1-0 Seattle. And now in the box, Jose Canseco. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American Jose. League batting race. Fantastic season all the way around. Not only does this guy just get on base by base hits, but he also leads the league in slugging percentage, so he's up there doing a lot of damage. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, 0-1. And, and fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. And stepping in, That's Cecil it. Fielder. The first baseman. Cecil Fielder. Now here it comes. Back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. That's the game plan right there. Elevate the sinker from the offensive standpoint. That's what they talked about the right in the hitters' meeting. And on the flip side, if the pitcher doesn't get that pitch down, there's going to be a call to the pen short. Now to bat, Tim Raines, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. Not a bad season for a rookie. He's really put himself on the map with the way he's hit the ball this year. Skied into very shallow right. Waiting on it is Hanniger. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting seven. The designated hitter, Ricky Henderson. So next to bat will be Ricky Henderson. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Has a look. Now the pitch. Fielder is off of first with two away. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, listen, when you have a good sinker, you have to throw it, but he's going to have to get the ball much lower in the zone than that last one. Yeah, from the offensive side, Dan, two-seamer, pitcher, sinker, baller, what have you, you're looking for that thing to pop up above the belt, and that's exactly what happened right there, miss middle. The next batter is Alfonso Soriano, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Comes set, 
the 0 1. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. Two men are on with two men out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Flare out toward right center. Moore onto the grass. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's one to one. Hey, there's a good That's job enough. of battling right there, D-Row. Pitcher have the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Bottom of the inning now. And digging in is the outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. And now the first pitch. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. Whoa, that's not man. hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. You know, Kenny Jansen, Dero, he's kind of hard to figure out. Doesn't give a lot on the edges. He'll make you bring the ball into that plate. Yeah, Dan, Kenny Jansen is definitely consistent, and he'll reward pitchers around the knees. But on the edges right there, sometimes it's hit or miss. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Williams will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Batting six. All Look right, here's how the Bronx hitter. Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And diving into the numbers on this team, the one thing that jumps off the page is the fact that these guys can flat play D, the highest fielding percentage in the league. Something to focus on today when you're watching this one. Ty France is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Hit out toward second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So now to the play, Jose Marmolejos, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Canseco gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Mariners are down in order. We played two full innings, and we are tied one to one. To the top of the lineup, stepping in, Derek Jeter. He collected a base hit his first time up. Jeter just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Into right field, that's a base hit.
Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having a lot of traffic, d -roll. He's given up several hits already, so uh, he's been in the stretch most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully he misses over the heart of the plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. Stepping in now, Bernie Williams, as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing and one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Jeter aboard here at first with nobody out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And that is down as that could be two bases. Jeter isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. And from the list of stats you never want to hear if you're a pitcher, Number we have 11. this. It's only the third inning, and he's already allowed more hits than he did in his entire last outing. In now, number 11. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 1 count. Here's the pitch. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed 1 and 2 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone 1 1, might as well fish a little bit further. The 1 2 is swung on and missed. He got him. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Nope. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Marmolejos is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And the tag's there. He's out at third base. It's a double play. And just like that, into the box, Evan White. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. High in the air out to center field. Williams is there and he has it for the first out. Batting well it's still early the but catcher. it's also worth noting Shaw. that he'd be in line for the win first if this keeps three. up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there he's part of a flat footed tie for the AL lead. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better Let's of him now it's strike two. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's oh, retired seven in a row. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, yeah Matt, that's the advantage of the getting ahead of the count. You can really Get force away. hitters to expand their zone oh. to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Dylan Moore. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Fouled away. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Whoa, Changes up there. on him there, but it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They're down 2-1.
Now to the plate. Here is Cecil Fielder. He singled first time up. The first baseman. Cecil. Pitch on the way. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the run is Lewis. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guys are bored with a base hit. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. On to first to complete the double play. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Ricky Henderson will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Here's the 0 and 2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Liner in there for a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. This will kick up against the wall now. The relay throw. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers think, and he's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. So now to the plate, Alfonso Soriano, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Sharp ground ball to third. Seeger has it. And they'll escape danger here after the two-out triple as the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be J.P. Crawford. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. JP. So go after the first pitch Crawford. and bounce it into foul territory. Hey. Oh and two, the count to Crawford. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, that's just out. Fouled off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Now another one, two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. That's
So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Kyle Lewis comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. On could we see another strikeout here. It's 0 2 now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. To one and two now. One and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kyle now Lewis Patty. becomes Third out base. number two Kyle. this inning. Seeger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Kyle Seeger is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Reigns finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Mariners are down in order. They still trail it here, two to one. All set for the start of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, Jorge Posada. Jorge. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And he misses with it one and one. Lots of hits given up, but so far no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. And he fouls this one off. This is foul right side. He'll try again one two. Swung on and missed by Posada who's down on strikes. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone but with the hitter protecting with two strikes that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. The 0 1 pitch. Rip down the first baseline but that'll get foul it's 0 and 2 now. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Fifth inning, two to one, our score. Yankee shortstop behind in the count, one and two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And there's out number two. Hey, that's a great job right there. Knowing he had time to collect now himself, I love the internal two. clock right there. 30. Didn't rush it, took the extra step, gathered himself, and threw a bolt to first base. Bernie Williams is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Moore has got it, and the side is retired. So the Yanks. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. 
This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. For the Mariners. Set the right down field. for the bottom of the fifth. Mitch. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Williams will slide over and put this one away and that's out number one. So yet another oh, strong out. outing for him tonight that's as we show you the hitter. league leaders in oh. ERA and as you can Boy. see he's had a great first half as he leads the AL in that department. So one down no one aboard and that'll bring in Ty France. First pitch of the AB on its way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. Behind 0 and 2 now. Out in front of that one, may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. One run, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Lifted down the line in left, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. He got a mistake right there but missed it can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. O2 count heater caught too much of the zone count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Lofted in the air out toward right center right fielder coming on. He's got it a nice play there two away. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and folks that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. And it's fouled away. Now a check swing but that's in there for strike three anyway and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Our score remains two to Stepping in once again is number 11. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Number 11. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 and 0 now. Here's a swing and a ground ball for Seeger down at third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now back. Left Next to stand in Jose. is Jose Canseco. Canseco. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Hard on the ground towards short. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Boy, there's Up a quality the infield base hit the right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop, Fielder. Derek Jeter, on that jump throw. Hey, that's why this is the pros. Back in the day, that's a knock all day long. But up here, guys are making those plays, at least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, 1 and 2. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Now a throw over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. And again a throw and a dive, but he's back in. The 2 2. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lewis waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next to hit is Tim Raines as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Hey, this guy handles lefties pretty well as that above 300 batting average to test. He swings it really good from the right side. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. He's going. He's Runner's going. 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 A pitch out. The throw. And they'll nail him at second on a brilliant call to pitch out, and the inning is over. Trying to move into scoring position with two away, but not to be as we get another look. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. The next batter will be Evan White. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't Mariner? found the scoreboard the since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting right. pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite All frankly, one. dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Dan, after that base hit right there, now he's got a six-game hit streak going. Go you know what? And this could be this could lead him onto something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well-executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. Canseco will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batting. Second base. Next for Seattle, Killer. Dylan Moore comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. One ball, no strikes to count. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. On a rope to the second baseman, and the runner gets back, no double play. Now batting. Stepping up is J.P. Crawford. He went down Crawford. looking in his last trip to the plate. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through six full. The Yankees lead it two to one. Brendan Brennan is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Now at the plate Brand here is Tim Raines. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. First delivery to him. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 oh now. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Popped him up. Crawford is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Now back. The next. next Daryl Strawberry will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded now second batting. base here. It's base a ground rule double. Alfonso There's a deep fly Soriano. ball. Does You quite get out of the complete. ballpark, but it hits in the right the spot as it bounces no, off that seven. hard warning track Can't and even. over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting the coast into second base. Oh. 
good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, that's now a pitch swung on and missed. It's two and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0. There's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Oh, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. A throw behind the runner at second, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Now the three and two pitch. Slow roller left side. Throw won't get him at first, an infield single, and it's first and third now. Up next to the anchor, the catcher. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away, and here's the switch hitting catcher, Jorge Posada. First offering. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Your Wayne Box please. has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base. Number seven. J.P. Crawford's at the plate now and he's quickly behind 0-1. Oh. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side but this will get into the crowd. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Fouled away. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. On its way is pitch number 75. Kyle Lewis is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Fouled off. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. 2 to 1 our score. And he fouls this one off. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today. Pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Seeger. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And here's a fastball called for strike one. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. Mariners are down in order. They're down 2 1. At the plate now is. Derek Jeter, he bounced out last time up. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Jeter. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. High in the air down the right field line. Waiting on it is Henniger. One out. Now that the seventh time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits as you can see by the left side of your screen. Bernie Williams swings and misses there so he's down 0 and 1. 
I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next for New York, number 11, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. 1 and 0 the count. And it's fouled away. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, 1 and 2. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Boy, D Row, this is turning into a hit parade, but it's amazing that they've only scored two runs up to this point. Yeah, matter of time, Dan. Got to stay positive. The hardest thing to do in sports is hit a baseball, especially with 40,000 breathing down your neck and runners on second and third. But somebody will come through. Jose Canseco is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Pitch out, nothing doing. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Three oh, and oh now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Skied down the left field line. Marmolejos is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Bottom of inning number eight set to go and that will bring up the outfielder Mitch Hanniger. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense. Especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams you know they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run across. Others they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. And well, that's out number one. Now back, the designated hitter. So here now is Ty oh. France. Boy. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now back. The left fielder. Striding in oh, is Jose Marmolejos. Marmo he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Chopper to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Ken Giles comes. now and he's their usual closer but this is obviously not a save opportunity yeah this is all about just getting him some work guys he hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here here's the 0 1 pitch swing and a liner and this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases and he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Tino Martinez with that base knock. He's just collected career hit number 2,000. A ton of hits. Unintended. Yeah, and everybody makes a big deal of that 3,000 hit club, and rightfully so. But 2,000, well, that's a pretty select group of players, too. He has a lot to be proud of now, guys. So next to hit is Tim Raines. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Ball one to start the at-bat. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one.
from the stretch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Martinez leads on second with nobody out. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. First pitch on the way. Daryl Strawberry is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Look, being a close is one of the toughest jobs, and it's hard to dominate every chance you get. But he definitely looks off right now, making it interesting to say the least. The 2 0. And this one will be out of play off to the left. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Three two pitch and he misses with it ball four so that'll load the bases and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. These guys on defense are still within striking distance but after that walk one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Wade Box is at the plate as he looks at ball one. One and one the count. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. Fouled away. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Counts even two and two to Barnes. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him, so we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Jorge Posada is on deck. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a fly ball, but far too shallow to get that run in. Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. And not in time as the run scores. And they won't push things here as they'll hold the second runner at third, so they're loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, that's a big RBI right there to give this team a two-run cushion going into the late innings. And it always makes it easier on the opposing pitcher to know they have a two-run lead. Yeah. Ouch, that one hit him. Domingo Tapia is summoned in the toughest situation. First pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just hooked it foul. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third make it five to one. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run score for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, 
and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Three runs already home here. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he misses two and one. Tapia is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to throw it. Two one, here it is. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Swing and a liner. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Henniger. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home. And he will come across to score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a six to one ball game. Number 11. Ready now is number 11. He's one for four so far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1 and 1. Ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes, Cal. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead. Gino Martinez players. stays in the Our ball game after team. pinch. For the now playing first. Jeff Nelson gets the call from the bullpen Gino to pitch in relief. Martinez. First pitch now of the AB on its four. way. Number 43, Jeff Nelson. Hey. No ball, two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Final line there for the Yankees starting oh, pitcher. He was great the all catcher. night long. Oh, Superb pitching Murphy. performance in this one, Matty V. Eight rock solid innings in line for the win. Now needs some help from the bullpen. Nope. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. First Down offering. Back. No Second problems base for base. him on the mound since Killer. he's come out of the pen to start this inning. More. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. That evens it up one and one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last chance for the Mariners. Fouled off. He's one pitch away from striking out the side but even more than that to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs. I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. Two out nobody on. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're Our just playing great baseball. Tonight. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Yankees. Six to Six one, the final. The Yanks get no their errors. 30th win on the road so on far base. this season. Dwight Gooden earns his league best 14th win as he turns no in eight strong 